Good morning. Well, it's time for the children's message, and it doesn't look like we have any little children here this morning, so I'm going to ask the big children to participate in this. And I'm going to start off with a question, which is, how many of you like to fly in an airplane? Just raise your hands. All right, we've got a few of you. And what I'd like to know is, what is it about flying that you like best? You're going somewhere, okay? So it's the destination. What else? Take off. Take off, okay. I like that too, right? It's like an amusement ride to me. <laughs> what else? <Yeah>. Snacks. <laughs> oh, good, okay. Does anybody like looking out the window and seeing the view? Yeah, that is my favorite part of flying. But I'm going to tell you a story about the very first time that I ever flew. I was about 14 or 15 years old. I was flying from Minneapolis to Sioux Falls, South Dakota to see my sister, who was at Augustana College at the time. And I was so excited about this trip. I was excited to see my sister, to be sure, and to spend the weekend with her. But to be honest, what I was really most excited about was getting up in an airplane, because I had heard wonderful stories about flying, and I was so looking forward to this. But the morning that I was to go to Sioux Falls, I woke up, I looked out the window, and there was a slow, steady rain. The kind of rain that looks like it's not going to go away soon. And I was right. I got out to the airport, got onto the plane, took my seat by the window, looked out, and still the drizzle was coming down. So it didn't take much before, as we were taking off, to see that I really wasn't going to get much of a view after all. Because it seemed like only within seconds, it was probably a minute or two, I suppose, that the clouds were hanging so low as we went through them, I really couldn't see anything at all. And I was terribly disappointed, except the takeoff was still good, John. <laughs> but what I did notice is that as we gained altitude, that darkness that had been all around me was getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And all of a sudden, I looked down and all of the clouds were now beneath us. And what I saw was a beautiful, bright blue sky and streaming sunshine and these sunbursts that, as they hit the clouds, just made them look like the brightest, whitest, biggest balls of cotton that I could ever have imagined. It was beautiful, and I still remember how amazed I was by that sight. But I think part of my amazement was the fact that I hadn't even anticipated what might be above those clouds. I was just so uh, consumed with my disappointment and the rain and the darkness, I hadn't even thought of what else might be in store. So it was a good lesson for me that there is always more than meets the eye, that sometimes we just can't see beyond what is directly in front of us. In our Bible reading today, we're going to hear about a woman named Naomi. And Naomi goes through some terrible things in life. And not only is she sad and worried and grieving, she's also very disappointed. She's disappointed in God because she thinks that God has left her alone and she can't understand why is God allowing all these things to, to happen in her life and where is God when she needs God the most? And Naomi tells other people how she's feeling and that's a good thing, right? Because God doesn't expect us nor want us to bear our burdens by ourselves. 
That's why he gives us this community of faith and family and friends and people in our lives who love us and care for us and who are there for us, not only in the good times, but in the bad times. And through their love and their kindness and their support, they help us to see what we might have trouble seeing for ourselves. And that is that we are not alone, that God is always with us and God is for us, even in the hard times, because God's love for us lasts forever. Will you pray with me, please? Dear God, we thank you for your love and for the people in our lives who help us when we're going through sad and lonely and scary times. Teach us how to be there for others, especially when they're going through difficult times. Use us to share your love with the world. In Jesus' name, amen.